In this video, I'm going to talk about switching states as an Uber driver and as a Lyft driver. Overall, switching your location. This has been a very highly requested video. Getting right into it, one, yes, you can switch your location. I've had some people say, hey Mark, you know, is it possible to switch if I'm moving from Boston to LA like I did? Yes, you can. Now, I'm going to get into how you do this, but one big thing I have to stress is this. Be prepared, this might take a good amount of time. Keep that in mind. So let's say you're moving to a new location and you're like, okay, you know, I was driving for Uber and Lyft. Now I'm gonna drive for Uber and Lyft in my new location. Keep in mind, there may be a good lag. It might be a week. It might be closer to, I don't know, a couple weeks or a month. It's tough to say exactly. Hopefully the apps do work quick, but keep this in mind. If let's say you're trying to rely on that income, make sure you have a lot of savings or just be prepared. There is gonna be a lag when switching locations. I'm on a Lyft site right now. As you can see, when you're ready to make a switch to a different region, tap contact support below to send us the following. Your name, phone number, and email address, the city you are currently in, the city you like to switch to, and your new residential address. I have switched on both Lyft and Uber. I'm gonna be honest, I find switching locations on Lyft is significantly easier than Uber. So I will say that, right? If you have a preference towards either app, I will say I feel like Lyft is easier at this. Because if I go to Uber, I have to submit all this right here. You know, if you want to switch to a new city or to like a new location in general, as you can see, many cities and states have unique uh, regulations that require a new background check to switch to your city. You may also have to re-upload or upload new documents in order to drive in the new city. So this was an exact email I got. And as you can see, I want to drive a new city. Hi, Mark. You know, if you want to switch stuff up and switch to a new city, send us your documents and they will be reviewed to confirm they are acceptable. A new background check may be required as well by local regulation as each city has different requirements. This process typically requires two to three weeks. Like I said earlier, this can take a little bit longer than you'd like. Who knows if maybe it only takes a few days, but also it might take maybe three or four weeks. I mean, it's tough to say. You know, and obviously they have this right here to view the necessary documents for your new city. You can visit this page right here. Every city is a little bit different. Now, one last thing I have to stress, which makes sense, but is also very frustrating at the same time, is that you really have to make the move, switch everything over, get your new documents, and then apply. Let's say you're in Boston, you want to move to LA like I did. You can't really apply or set it up ahead of time. You can't be like, hey, I'm going to move to LA in a week. Why not switch things early? So when I get there, I can drive. You can't really do that. So keep in mind, you really have to make the full move, get a new place, have all the paperwork you need, switch over all of your stuff, and then you can contact Uber and Lyft. That's why I suggest, like I said in the beginning of this video, budget a good amount of time. I might just say a month, because it's not even about Lyft and Uber now. You also have to move into your new place. You have to switch your plates over. You have to get a new driver's license. You have to, uh, I remember it was a nightmare moving. I did not expect to be that much work. I had to get new insurance and switch everything over with my insurance. I had to do all this stuff. So keep in mind, it's not just about Lyft and Uber now. You have to set up all your new documents and then contact Lyft and Uber. So this whole process can take a good amount of time. Like I said, I always budget on a month. That way, if it, let's say, takes a lot sooner, and let's say it only happens in a week, hey, that's awesome. Now you get to drive. But at least by budgeting for a month, you know, okay, I might not have that ride sharing income coming in while moving because I have to do all this stuff. I have to contact with an Uber, send them all the documents they want, et cetera, et cetera. And then hopefully after that month, you'll be able to drive in your new location.